Okay, so here's a typical issue on the piano. <clears throat> yeah, there's Monarch here. <laughs> Is not great, but this one particularly pretty bad. So, you want to get a small screwdriver like this, you can unscrew this screw back here. I think you probably can't see this, but just taking it off and take off the head. Be careful with it. Here's my head and it looks like it's not flat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a pliers and see if i can make the damper go further into the string or evenly go into the string when it sits it's not sitting flat if you can see down here it's not sitting in it's not sitting in here either <laughs> i usually wouldn't use a vice for this because i'd use my other hand and it'd be fine but I'm gonna get grab what I'm using my camera so you can put the pliers flatten the surface. So be careful you don't want to damage the material so you have to be kind of gentle when you're doing this. Just kind of strain it out in this case, flatten it. The idea of pressing it in at the back is that more of the damper will go into the string. And this is a like that. So this piano is quite vibrant, but I got rid of most of it. It's pretty ambient. Some pianos are ambient anyway. Just the big cabinet, I think. That's improved. There's a slight harmonic and I could keep going, but there you go. That's how you do get rid of a lot of problems with dampers. Um, they're not sitting far enough into the string, so they're not, they're not pushing against the string. They're just kind of, bits coming out or flaps coming out maybe it's been taken in and out incorrectly in the past there you go thanks for watching this video if you want to see more please subscribe my name is evan roberts from roberts pianos houston